Hello and welcome to the first official video from the Belmont Zen Center. Uh, I'm sure that some of the people who are watching this video already know who I am, others don't. Uh, some of you who know me know me as Jim, others know me as Dr. Case Bolt, a few people know me as Reverend Dejong. Uh, I'm a Buddhist Dharma teacher. I'm affiliated with the Tego Korean order, which is in the Son or Zen tradition. Um, the reason I decided to make this video was to try to explain why I came to the determination that this was the right time to start the Belmont Zen Center in, in the middle of a pandemic. It might seem like a ridiculous time to start any sort of organization where normally people meet together. And frankly, that's true. It is a ridiculous time to try to start any sort of religious community, uh, at least at first. Um, the meeting space for this new endeavor is going to be in my home here in St. Clairsville, but uh, under the current public health situation, it may actually be months at this point before it'll actually be safe uh, to, to open the doors for services and, and meditation for people to be, to be coming in from outside. Um, so this is going to be the slowest and softest of of soft opening is as to use the you know the business term soft opening um the more i thought about what was going on in the world though and in, in the in the country and most importantly obviously right here in the in the local area in the upper upper ohio valley um i thought it was exactly the right time to start something like this uh, people are stressed <laughs> they may be feeling overwhelmed they may have a sense that their their lives are somewhat out of their control, um, any little bit of support, even if it's just virtual, even if it's from a phone call or an email or, or watching something online, maybe exactly the lifeline that, that somebody needs to get through the day under the current circumstances, the current situation. Um, also, there may be a need for, for services in the kind of the broadest sense in terms of rites of passage, these sorts of things that may be going unfulfilled, and there may be a way I can, I can help with those things. That's part of why I felt sort of th that this was the right time to, to try to start this. Maybe somebody's wedding got thrown totally into, into chaos, for example, and they may need the help of a supportive and open-minded, flexible local clergy person to try to, to you know, get, get that part of their life going again. Um, most importantly, and this was the, the main impetus, the main motivator to, to get this going, um, given the medical situation in which we find ourselves, I suspect that there may be people who are sick or who have loved ones who are sick uh, and who are in need of, of spiritual support and, and care. Um, I've started the paperwork uh, to become a, a volunteer chaplain at, at Wheeling Hospital, um, which is the, the, the still open hospital that's closest uh, to where the center is located. If there are other medical institutions in the area, other medical establishments, other hospitals and such that someone would like for me to connect with, I, I just let me know I would be happy to, to look into what would, it would take to, to start that process. Um, if worse comes to worse, uh, there may also be families who are in need of help with end-of-life issues uh, or funeral arrangements and services. And while I hope I never get that kind of call, um, I certainly hope that anyone who needs that kind of support would be able to reach out to me so that I can try to do what I can to provide it. Um, for the time being, the center is going to exist primarily as a Facebook page where I plan to to post things at least once a week. Uh, and as a website, if you visit the website, you can get a better sense of what I hope the center, center will become. The website at this point is, is kind of aspirational. It's planning looking forward more than what's the current situation, the current reality. Uh, what I hope I'm gonna be able to provide for people in the future. So I, I encourage you to take a look at that. Uh, I don't plan to organize any in-person events in the foreseeable future. Um, I have thought about the possibility of whether things could be done outside. Obviously, that's a, a safer way 
you know, people can be outside and not breathing each other's air and spread out a little more, bit more and so on. Unfortunately, my property here where the center is going to be located doesn't really lend itself to that smack dab in the middle of St. Clairsville, Ohio, you know, right down the hill from the courthouse, busy street and so on. Um, if, uh, if, you, if you know of a space, if you have a suggestion for an outdoor venue that could maybe be used someplace, you know, relatively private and, and quiet and so on that would, might be usable for something, please let me know. I would be happy to, to investigate and see if maybe something could be made to work along those lines. Um, this is a real thing, by the way. Uh, the this, this center is a serious project. Uh, it is official. Um, uh, I'm starting this as an extension and outreach ministry of the Muddy Water Zen Temple in Royal Oak, Michigan, um, which is the temple run by my teacher, Venerable Hado, and, and on which I'm, I'm part of the clergy team at that temple, though I'm not able to be there very often, especially in recent months. Uh, it's also being done with the blessing of Venerable Haekwong, who's the bishop of the American European Parish of the, of the Tago Order. Um, it's also official, officially legally incorporated as a nonprofit um, organization in the state of Ohio, uh, registered with the Secretary of State's office. So this is, this is a real thing. Um, if you're interested in the teachings of the Buddha, if you're interested in the practice of meditation and other uh, Buddhist practices, if you're interest, un, interested in uh, developing a better understanding of yourself and your own pure nature, then I, I encourage you to follow up with me uh, on Facebook or email, and hopefully someday we will look each other in the face. Uh, and I look forward to that day. Please um, let me know if you're interested and how you'd like to be involved and what you hope in the future this might become to support you. Thank you very much.